Also tonight, the snow removal effort across the city of Buffalo will resume tomorrow morning. That was suspended yesterday after a city worker had died. The Buffalo Police Commissioner says that the employee was struck by a vehicle that was backing up while hauling away snow on McKinley Parkway. Today, Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown shared a message to all city workers while volunteering with the Salvation Army. I want uh, our workers that have been affected uh, by tragedy uh, to know that we are praying for them, lifting them in prayer, uh, and that we love them. Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown says that the victim's family has asked him not to be released or his name to be released. Meanwhile, our Critzia Williams found people still dealing with all the snow. Whoever comes over here, please be careful. It's icy. This is how Thanksgiving started for Michael Holica in South Buffalo. Shoveling out the snow. Couldn't get home all weekend, so that's what I'm doing today right now. But he's not letting the snow sway his holiday plans. I'll well, go with my daughter and my son. We're going to have Thanksgiving dinner together later. And much like Holica, other neighbors are still working on their dig out as well. Yeah, I dug out, dug out the um, the uh, family cars over over here, and then I, I started at, at uh, seven. Leaving him feeling like I mean, it was a tough, tough, tough at first. I've uh, you know I've been through like hurricanes, tornadoes, um, earthquakes, you name it, and and I've I've been through them. And I've always said that at, at least in the Buffalo, it it snows. I could go out and shovel. And in the midst of the snow, the warm Thanksgiving spirit is moving through the Queen City. I'm thank thankful that that, that, that I'm um, from, from my fam family first, of, of course, you know, and, uh, and that, that I'm over, over uh, can cancer. I'm alive, my family, we're all going to get together, and, you know, no one got hurt. Kritzia Williams, 7 News, Buffalo.